this is Jovi and welcome to On Point with Jovi Kalma right here at Asian Media Network. We are actually here at the Saigon Center and we are going to be covering and showcasing the highlights of the 12th annual Filipino Festival here in Arizona. We have a lot of surprises for everyone. As you know, this is a big celebration in line with 125th Philippine Independence Day celebration. So this one big event that's been doing for the last 12 years is brought to you by CEFAF as well as the NAFA Arizona and Del Fabca. So please stay tuned as we bring you more exciting surprises right here happening with the who's who in the community and those who are making a difference and waving Filipino flag here in Arizona. <laughs> Dance Theater Group, Louie, Tanya, the president. Uh, How are you, Louie? Uh, it was great to be in Arizona. Yes, well, congratulations on a very successful standing ovation performance of Lady Dance Group. So, how do you feel about that with the reaction of Arizonians? I feel flattered and no word can say but thank you for the appreciation and the acceptance and the, uh, what they call this, the uh, the Filipino tradition that we had. Hindi nakakalimutan ng Pinoy ang pagiging Filipino. Exactly. So I am like really moved myself because your theater group showcased the phenomenal, historic, you know, culture, very rich of our three major islands, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. What you're doing is like you're making a difference with the lives, not only with your dancers, not only with the entire crew or the staff of Lady Dance Theater Company or group, but the entire population in the Philippines. You're really waving the Philippine flag here in the U.S. Yes, I really, really appreciate. Uh, we are waving the Philippine flag of Arizona, not only the Philippine flag of Arizona, but the Arizona itself, the flag of Arizona, because there are a lot of uh, Filipino here in Arizona. They are very much hospitable. Well, congratulations. We had a great time with you here, too. Having you here for, you know, for your performance here in Arizona for the 12th Annual Filipino Festival. So we're looking forward to see you back here, Louis. Yes, because we are planning to be back on 2025 another uh, tour of the Lady Dance Center, which you can see another part or another uh, scene of the Lady Dance Center. We can wait and look forward to see that. So once again, Louis Tanya, the president of Lady Dance Theater Group. So safe travels, my friend, and Thank congratulations you. on an amazing performance. <laughs> guest, the Wonder Woman, the phenomenal woman behind the success of the 12th Annual Filipino Festival, and of course, back-to-back -back with the Patayo event. Our very own Charmel de la Cruz, oh my gosh, Lara's Media International, our president for the state of Arizona for NAFA, and of course with Fabka, one of the community leaders and movers and shakers here in Arizona. How are you, my friend? I feel so fulfilled tonight after this back-to-back uh, -back event that we held today, the 12th Annual Filipino Festival, and of course, our Padayo event. And thanks to you, Jovi, for being such a great host with Flora. Of course, it is always my honor to be here. You know, Arizona is always going to be my second home. But you did a phenomenal job. You know, it's like you've been doing for the last 12 years. But what I really love about it, you not only have the usual 
entertainment, the showcase of the rich culture of our heritage, but you also have the film showing, you also have this um, immigration lawyer one-on-one -on -one via Zoom. Everything is like so techy. And, and not only that, the Padayo event is a standing ovation standing room only congratulations thank you so much for everyone who helped uh, make this possible number one we have miley saigon center for without her we won't have a venue <laughs> okay but at the end of the day you know it's a collaboration of all the organizations so help of course with you and four as our mc who put together the program you know fast pace no lull no dull moment all the vendors that we put together and we're actually overflowing with vendors, all the performances on stage, all the singers and dancers. Iman, you know, she is one of the, you know, pillar of our Napa to here locally. And we invited, you know, vendors from out of state. So to me, this is one of the, actually this is the best, the best Filipino festival that we've ever had in the past 12 years. Thank you everyone for all your support and to our sponsors. Number one, Casino Arizona. Stock Resort from one Martinez. They never fail for the past 14 years, almost 15 years. They always help the community. And of course, Mega World International, even though they're based in Manila, but we're here. Thank you for your support and all our other organizations and sponsors who did that. Thank yes, you. Yes, and I know I'm like so really surprised about because you've been working so hard for this Filipino festival. Are you taking MX3? <laughs> Is that one of your secret? <laughs> yes, of course. We have the coffee and MX3 capsule right there. Yes. So it's for, for us for the taking, right? Yes. Well, definitely. I am so extremely proud of you, Charmel. My Madame Kapatid. <laughs> My other sister from another mother. So congratulations once again. And we can't wait to have another festival here in Arizona. <laughs> exciting and wonderful personalities that I am so honored as my special guest for for today for On Point with Javi Kalma is Mr. Carl Magno, one of the great, wonderful entrepreneurs, of course, from the Phil M TV all the way from Las Vegas. Thank you so much, Javi. Thank you for having me. I'm so honored. We're so humbled to have you here in Arizona. You actually traveled all the way from Las Vegas to be here for the 12th annual Filipino festival. I can't miss this. Good friend uh, and partner, Charmel de la Cruz, organizing this. I can't say no to her. And now I have another reason not to say no to uh, coming to uh, Arizona because my, my, this yeah, it's also now uh, Asian uh, media, Asian media network. network. Yeah, so it's like Asian media network. Of course, we'd like to say thank you, Miley, for being one of our sponsors right here for Saigon Center. And of course, Asian media network covering the event, the highlights of this festival. So how do you feel about it? I know Las Vegas is like the entertainment capital of the world. But here in Arizona, we really brought the house down, especially the Padayo event, standing room only, sold out. And the reaction of the audience is like a standing ovation. Exactly. In fact, I had a difficult time standing up because uh, my back is hurting from driving. But then it's a great, great event, great show. And yeah, uh, you know, I'd be happy to, to see a lot, a lot more uh, projects like this one so that the Filipinos around the world will be able to see what's happening here in, in uh, Arizona. So do you feel like because the Lady Dance Theater group kind of like showcased the dances, that's really helped shaping the history of the Philippines. And you being an executive producer of one of the largest TV network that is catered not only for Filipino Americans. Is this something that you're okay, yet you can say that you're also waving the Filipino flag Definitely. through that platform? I'm a dual citizen. I am very proud to be a Filipino. And, and then, you know, when we launched the very first travel channel in the world, it was Lakbay TV. Yes. Are you familiar with Lakbay TV? I heard about Lakbay. Very good. Because Lakbay TV was the very first 
fully dedicated channel that focuses on Philippine travel. And so that was, was really the highlight of us being able to, you know, uh, highlight the, all the 7,000 plus islands of the Philippines. I Late love that. Lakbay travel. Yes, of course. Yeah, so Mr. Carl Magno, since we're talking about the Philippines, I would like to know, like, which part of the Philippines are you from? I was born and raised in Davao City. Davao, wow, I like that. Well, I my mom was from Brazil, my dad from Quezon City, but do you know any other dialect? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I, I speak the Bawenyo, I speak Visayan, I speak, uh, of course, I speak the language, the, the national language. Filipino. Yeah, <laughs> Filipino. And but, of course, a little bit of Spanish because my mom uh, is Lorenzana, so she's, okay. uh, she's Spanish. All right. So I know that you are so big in the platform, in the broadcast industry. <laughs> yeah, I thing. like him. He's like very, very, that's very comic. But can you tell us more about where we can get hold of the Phil MTV? Uh, Phil MTV Network is basically our latest project. Uh, or latest offer offer ring to uh, the global uh, Filipino. And at the same time, it is pretty much the centerpiece of the AAPI because it's uh, Asian American Pacific Islander. Uh, and, and, and as you know, in Las Vegas, the largest Asian ethnic uh, community are the Filipinos. Filipinos, yes. yes. So, well, so you're in Arizona as well. Yes, but we have come a long way from the Philippines. For instance, we we created, uh, like I said, it's it's Manila centric. Philippines was Manila centric before. We created a channel that basically showcased more than seven thousand islands in the Philippines. So from there, we we moved on to a Living Asia Channel, which is pretty much a Pan Asian look of where the Filipinos went, how the Filipino diaspora. To Asia during the time, and now when move when we move to uh, to, to to Las Vegas, uh, then then we now present not just the Filipino diaspora to Asia, but then now we're looking at the Filipino diaspora to America. So that's the rest of history, right? So that's well, congratulations to you and good to see you for making that. To answer your friend. question, I'm sorry. Yes. it's PhilMTV.us. 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 Make sure that you tune in and support. And of course, we're looking for, who knows, one of our shows are going to be aired on PhilMTV. <laughs> at least one. Uh, uh, we're looking at two, at the okay. very least. <laughs> there we have it. It's just all the collaboration and partnership. And that's something that we have to solidify. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Carl Magno. I'm so happy to see you again in Vegas. Who knows, I'm going to see you in Chicago. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I want you to know that the, I stood up for the performance at the same time for your songs. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I really appreciate it. It's all about sharing our God's gifts and talents to all our combined. So there you have it, Mr. Carl Magno from Feel MTV Network. <laughs> And right here at Saigon Center, it is my honor to have our special guest today, our CEO of Asian Media Network. Please help me welcome Mai Lee. How are you, Mai? Good, thank you, uh, Jovi. And this is my first time attend the, uh, actually second time, attend the uh, Filipino Festival. And it's so amazing to see the rich culture, unity, diversity, and... Um, Especially the performance. Oh my God, fantastic performance from Philippines. Well, you know, my that you're an honorary Filipino. You know that. <laughs> well, we're so thankful to you for being so generous to have the 12th annual Filipino festival to be staged here, to be here at Saigon Center for being our sponsor. So how do you feel about that? It's so packed today. Wonderful to see that the event that uh, the Saigon Center welcomed the Filipino community here to this venue and hosted the event. 
and uh, I uh, I have so many Filipino friends, and you know, you too. Today, you are like the star of the show <laughs> with your beautiful voice uh, singing. But um, like I said, Saigon Center is a brand new venue open for uh, anyone in the community who would like to book show. Uh, either a wedding, birthday party, or a concert or event like this, and uh, contact us with the number 480-213-5987, and we will help you, assist you to make your event flawless. Again, congratulations, the Filipino community, for putting together a wonderful, successful uh, Filipino festival and congratulations on the uh, 125 years of Independence Day uh, yeah. for Filipino country. Well, yes, there you have it. It's like really amazing that we're still continuing the celebration. Actually, the one that we had for the 12th annual Filipino festival is like more of like an extension of our local residents here in the Southeast Valley. But I know that with Asia Media Network, with the Saigon Center, right? We're so happy that we're here. So is there any special events that you would like to prom promote for to all the Thai viewers for On Point? Well, we have a uh, event booking, you know, between now and uh, next year, uh, like wedding, we have uh, uh, other community event, but again, uh, check on us for the availability. So the Saigon Center, um, again, is open for our community to host event here. There we have it. And for sure, we're gonna be back here at Saigon Center. We had a great time. And thank you so much again, Miley, the CEO of Asia Media Network for her generosity hosting event here at Saigon Center. Thank you so much. <laughs>
it's just phenomenal. And, you know, that joy like that and that experience of a lifetime, it's something they're going to remember forever. And I think the goodwill that was achieved just by doing that is, you know, I, to me, it's just a good feeling. And I think in this world, you, you get back what you put out. And, and there you have, and you, that's why you are very much blessed because of your selfless, you know, because of your amazing and the kind of leader that you are here in Arizona. It's really great reflection. Like what we have here in Arizona in, you know, in the likes of Marie Canning, we need more of her, right? <laughs> Not just because I'm her angel younger sis, right? But, you know, from my core, I'm really, really thankful for, you know, for having you as well as my host. You know, her home is like my second home here in Arizona. <laughs> so I wanted to end this interview with my favorite quote from Mother Teresa. Not all of us can do great things, but all of us can do small things with great love. I love that. There you have it, Marie Cunning, our president from the National Federation of Philippine American Chambers of Commerce, and of course, Papka of Maine, right here in Arizona. <laughs> Hope you had a great time spending your day with us as we brought you the 12th or the highlights of the 12th annual Filipino Festival. As what I've mentioned earlier, it is indeed a celebration of the rich culture and history of the Philippines through music and dance, as well as beauty, pageant, and industry that we have right here. So this is your host, Joby Kalma, signing off for On Point with Joby Kalma for Asian Media Network. Remember, aspire to inspire. Have a great one, everybody.